Hi, my name is Bertrand Dirk, and today we'll be discussing about what whiplash headaches are. Do you suffer from whiplash headaches, or think you may suffer from this condition? If so, this video should explain in greater detail to what this condition is, as well as information on what the causes of the whiplash headaches are, and also treatment solution options to help whiplash headaches. So firstly, what is whiplash headaches? So whiplash injuries uh, most commonly occur following a motor vehicle accident, where the driver experiences some type of impact from the front, rear or side of the vehicle, and that can also occur in, for example, diving um, uh, injuries or other high velocity sporting activities whereby there's a rapid acceleration and deceleration of the head, which then causes a transfer of energy into the neck, resulting in damage or a dysfunction in the muscles, ligaments, discs, joints of the neck. So basically that rapid and deceleration is like a whiplash, whereby the head will go from one side to the other, will be forwards and back or side to side, and that can then disturb a lot of um, uh, impaction on the neck itself. Now, depending on the extent um, or type of whiplash injury, they can cause mild to severe headaches or migraines. Now these pains can be focal to one side of the head or can be experienced on both sides of the head depending on the specific presentation. Pain can also be experienced in, uh, down the spine, shoulders or even down the arms and in more severe whiplash injuries, damages to the ligaments in the upper cervical spine of the neck can actually lead to neck tongue syndrome and this is where patients will report of numbness or tingling on one half of the tongue in conjunction to pain in the neck and the head. So then, let's talk about the risk factors of developing headaches following trauma to the head or the neck. The International Headache Society guidelines suggest that the following factors may increase the risk of developing headaches from a whiplash injury. And these are if you've had a previous headache, if you have low severity of injury to the neck or the head in the past, being female, and also the co-presence of psychiatric disorders. Now, there are two types of whiplash-associated headaches. The first one is acute headaches, and the second one is persistent headaches. Now, acute headaches is basically headaches that are less than three months in duration following a whiplash injury. Whereas persistent headaches is headaches of more than three months in duration followed by a whiplash injury. So then, why do whiplash injuries cause headaches? Let's talk about it. Now, whiplash is a regular cause of headaches and migraines and the acceleration and deceleration, like we said before, effect on the whiplash injuries in the cervical spine can result in a big disruption and dysfunction of the structures in the upper neck. Now, the modern research suggests that this dysfunction results in a sensitized brainstem, also located in the upper three cervical spine of the neck. Now, the brainstem, in more and more specifically, the trigeminal cervical nucleus, houses nerves that arrive from both the head and the face, as well as structures in the upper cervical spine. Now, the information coming from the dysfunctional or injured area and structures in the upper neck is easily confused by the trigeminal cervical nucleus as dangerous, and pain can then be referred to the head or the face. Now, the increased sensitivity of the brainstem in these situations results in a wide range of headaches and migraines that can occur following a whiplash injury. So the common types of headaches and migraines can be, after whiplash injury, can be caused as chronic daily headaches, you could have tension type headache or migraine headache, you could have um, exhibit hormonal or menstrual related migraines, cluster headaches can come out of it, cervicogenic headache, 
sinus headache, or even vertigo cervical headache can be a result of a whiplash injury. In fact, most headaches and migraines patients do report of some form of neck injury in the past that can be related to their headache symptoms. So, if we know the cause, what can be done about it? What are the treatment options? Now, many sufferers with whiplash associated headache conditions usually have tried many different things um, with mixed results. Commonly, they have tried therapies, um, they've tried a lot of medications, and even surgical intervention. So, basically, if you were to ask what type of treatment is there to help you, I would ask you the question is, is have you seen a headache clinician to help with this pain? And more importantly, have you actually had your first three vertebrae assessed and also your brain stem? Now, if your brainstem has been proven to be the cause of your whiplash headaches, then treatment to treat the cervical, um, the cervical spine as well as desensitizing the brainstem can be done immediately and is effective at helping whiplash injuries. So, if you haven't seen a headache consultant, then I would strongly urge that you see someone to help with this headache conditions because whiplash headaches is um, treatable and can be helped to significantly reduce, manage or resolve this whiplash headache. So, hopefully you have found value from this video to understand what is whiplash headaches, the cause and also the treatment options. My name is Bertram Dirk once again and hopefully you have found value in this video and we we'll look forward to seeing you at another video. If you have any further questions, feel free to comment below or even contact us through the channels below as well. Thank you. Thank you.